I've been fishing um, non-stop from 1996 till now, that's 20 years. And fishing in the Bahamas seems to be on a decline. As a, it might not be dead, but it's critically ill. I have seen a lot of poachers, and my family have encountered poachers in the Southeast Bahamas. And uh, it wasn't good. This is, a, this is a massive major concern. Poaching in the Bahamas. Poaching in the Bahamas. The fishermen, the local fishermen around here, we are getting the waste of it all. And the Dominicans, not just Dominicans, foreigners, are raping this country. Something was going on right now is what you all don't see. Those same mini cruise ships that you all see over there right now, they carry billions of dollars out of our water every year. Billions, not millions, billions. You're only supposed to carry five pounds per visitor. Nothing is safe for tomorrow. We have a problem with Dominicans because we create the problem. We were the ones, Bohemians, who owned fishing boats and never put Bohemian first or want to give Bohemian the less. So what we said, Bohemian are not in the wagon. Bohemian are not in the wagon for chump change because they know they own it. But they'll go and get these foreigners. What used to chump change? We have more gunfight out there than we have on the land. You don't want to hear it? Well, that's the fact. Okay? Um, they call the police. The police did take up forever to come. When they tried to board the boat, they were shot at. There was a Dominican vessel fishing on the outside of Pinefield for over a week. We called the defense force, so they didn't come. So the local police decided to try and, and apprehend the poachers. Well, it resulted in the poachers being caught, but not, after, not until one of them shot a spare gun at, at the officer. Big hole get punched inside the vessel. Big hole get punched. In other words, get shot in the vessel. Because they shoot at and return fire back. You have, this time of the year, you have 10, 15 Dominican boats in the back here. In the back of the Southeast Bahamas. Praying on the same thing that we're trying to preserve. We say we're trying to preserve the, the Nassau Grover. They tell us, don't touch nothing. But yet, foreigners could come and take it out. It's like your fridge in your house, full of food, and you're telling your children, don't touch it. But soon a stranger knock on the door, they could go in the fridge and eat. While we are being kept from harvesting the gooper, the foreigners come in, they harvest the gooper, take it back to their country, process it, and then sell it back to us because it is not illegal for us to import grouper during the closed season. It is illegal for us to process it. So for that reason, we're buying our own product. And I don't think it's fair. It has been said that we're going to deplete our grouper resource. Lies. Total lies. The way Bahamians fish, we can't touch our resources. I have had the pleasure of diving in group of schools to which you can see no end. We boast of having 700 islands, rocks and keys. My God, you have 700 islands, rocks and keys. Let's say group of school around 500 of those. Can we outfish them with our methods? Our primitive methods? We can't. As a Bahamian, permit me to be able to go out and search for new schools where I can still feed my family while the, the, the stock is being replenished. What we need to do is that anyone right now who we select to be our voices for fishery right now mm -hmm. needs right now to be knowledgeable about the sea. I want the governor of this Bahamas to get serious with poachers. I want the governor of this Bahamas not just only look at the dirty boat. Look at the pretty boat too, because they poaching also. I want the government of this Bahamas to put a system together 
that these young men were coming out to school, what they say don't have a job, could learn the water, and have national guards from every boat would hit the Bahama Islands. We need to teach fishing in our schools. We need to give our children some type of incentive to fish. Fishing and farming is, ne is nearly extinct in the Bahamas now. You stop fishing, you stop farming, you stop eating, or you stop eating, eating locally. We have to, we'll have to depend on everything coming from abroad. The same way the iPhone was introduced, the same way the tablet, the computer was introduced. Look at me. I knew nothing about the computer. Now I'm tech savvy. It's the same thing with fishing. Use becomes second nature. Let's teach our kids to fish. Let's teach our kids to farm. If we teach them to do it, we won't have to keep spoon feeding them. We, we won't have to be spoon fed as a nation. We can feed ourselves.